Don Burke, he rang me up once and he said, I believe that you're growing pepper and vanilla up there. I said, yep. He says, how are you doing? And I said, I could tell you, Don, but I'd have to share you. <laughs> I've spent a lot of my life in martial arts and meditation. I've learned a lot about energy. You can actually lock into the trees, the energy cycle, and make suggestions with your mind. Delicious. Picking you guys next week. So many people ask, how do you get the flavour, how do you get the fruit to taste so good? Are we organic? No, we're not certified. Are we traditional? To some degree, yes. Are we permaculture? No. I love that smell. You wouldn't cook rice without it. <laughs> I look at my trees like my little babies. Kids, you give them good healthy food, they'll grow healthy. You give them a good attention, lots of love, they'll, they'll grow well adjusted. The trees are no different. Lovely. Hi, little Jack. Keep growing. Another few months to go. <laughs> we grow pretty much uh, about 400 varieties of tropical fruits. We've got yuzu, kumquats. This is our beautiful pepper that apparently shouldn't be growing in this area, but it's been doing uh, very well for the last eight years. Here we have a nectarin plum cross called spicy. If you think a nectarin or a plum or whatever is good, this thing here will knock your socks off. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. But the way we work is we pick our fruits, like today, and we sell tomorrow. A fruit that's well grown, the colour will be different, it'll have more of a gloss. I give the trees permission to uh, take whatever they need from the earth. I think that's why people are saying, you know, why is our stuff so good? No, I don't kiss and cuddle the prickly pears, I'm sorry. It's uh, just a no-no.